Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy here in Alexandria, Virginia at APTA headquarters, and I'm joined by APTA's President Paul Rocker. Paul, thanks for joining me. We're coming here to the end of 2013. It's a great time to look back at some of the things that happened this year and talk about some of the things that are coming up in 2014. I think the biggest thing that happened in 2013 was APTA's House of Delegates adopted a new vision for the profession. It's transforming society by optimizing movement to improve the human experience. Um, the most noticeable thing, I think, is that the vision's much shorter than it used to be. But the other thing that stands out is, okay, we used to be guided by Vision 2020, and now it's, it's this new vision, but we're not to 2020 yet. So the obvious question for someone who missed the news when it came out is, why is the vision changed this year in 2013 when there were still things to do and still years to go on Vision 2020? Good question, Jason. I think back in 2011, the House of Delegates, when they met, were discussing where we were at with many different elements of 2020 and decided it was time to start our work because we knew this project would probably take a few years to accomplish and start looking where we need to be for the future with our vision. So back in 2011, they charged the board to take a look at this issue and say where we're at with the current vision, but at the same time where we wanted to go. We formed a task force, preliminary report in 2012, came back this year with a vision task force results after membership surveys and focus groups and so forth. This vision came to be through that open debate and discussion. I think one of the significant points to be made, and people need to keep in mind as we reach the end of 2013, the elements of 2020 that we've been working on are not going to go away. Direct access is still critical for us, for example. We know that with the 50 states where we have it, we can even do better by getting unfettered direct access in all those 50 states. We still are looking at opportunities on the federal level. Where do we have some opportunities there where we can go ahead and provide federal employees and or federal beneficiaries direct access to physical therapy services. So those are still out there. Another key one, evidence-based practice. We know that that's key. Everybody in healthcare reform, whether it be commercial payers, Medicare, Medicaid, are relying on providing the best, best value for the patient, providing the best services at the state-of-the-art evidence-based approach. So we know that's critical. Those type of issues and the other elements are not going to go away. So those haven't gone away, and then, um, but in addition to that, there have been some changes. It's much shorter. It passes the T-shirt test to quote a few delegates from the House. Um, beyond that, it's it's more outward focused, focused on the public, and um, and what physical therapy can do for them, so more so than focused on inwardly on the profession with things like evidence-based practice and direct access and those initiatives. Yes, in those areas, when you think back to Vision 2020 when we started that process, is where we needed to go as a profession and association. Appropriate at the time, definitely initiatives we needed to work on and continue to work on. Now it's time with healthcare reform, better health for populations as well as serving society. How do we interact as physical therapists and physical therapist assistants with all those members of the population and better their health and how do we contribute to overall health care provision in this country as well as with the reform efforts that are going on. So now there's the vision. The vision, as you said, will um, it will set help set the strategic plan for the association. It'll help set the work um, of, that, that the membership does. And that really leads to the way APTA functions. So APTA is a member-led association. You're a member. The members of the House are members. Uh, uh, the delegates in the House are members. And so, how important is membership to what APTA does? It's critical. In my view, it's our keystone of the organization as well as the association. We're really proud to report that as we turn into 2014, we'll be at 88,000 members, one of the largest pinnacles that we've ever reached. However, uh, we also need to keep in mind that we could even be stronger because we're still at the 30% market share for physical therapists. So I know as a volunteer leader, as well as talking to all of the association staff, we are getting recognition when we go out and say that we represent 88,000 members within APTA. I would challenge all of us out there, uh, physical therapists and physical therapist assistant wise, what would that message be if I as a volunteer leader or my staff would go out from APTA and say, I represent 120,000 members. I represent 130, 140, 150, whatever that number may get to someday. That is even a stronger message for us. And we're proud of the fact that our membership department as well as our staff and our volunteer leaders, both in chapter sections as well as here at the National Association level, have kept us strong through these tough economic times. You'll notice that many membership organizations did take somewhat of a dip during this tough economic time in the 2008 to 2011 timeframe. We were able to maintain strength there and we think that we could even get stronger though. 
So there's definitely a leverage point in increasing um, the membership number. There's also just the basic dollars and cents. So much of what APTA does is reliant on those membership dues. So let's talk about some of the things that those dues are producing. So what's coming up in 2014 uh, that's being worked on? Well, I think some of the things in 2014 that are significant that you'll see out there on our website as well as on our publications is that outcome demand is there, whether it be health care reform for the federal government, Medicare and the Medicaid system, or whether it be the commercial insurance companies. They want to know that we're providing value to their patients and making significant change in their life and their quality of life. So we're embarking upon an outcomes registry that will be piloted in 2014. We're hoping to be in, open to all physical therapists in all settings by 20. 2015. So that's a significant one. We've also heard the message loud and clear that the procedure-based system of payment that we've been getting reimbursed on for a number of years is just something that's not working not only for the payers but for the healthcare system and its sustainability. So an alternative payment system is something that we've been looking at. It's currently going through the AMA CPT process and we are looking to have some movement on that uh, initiative in 2015 so that we, 2014 so by 2015 we can educate the members more and more about it. Internally, there's one other thing that I th we think that the members need to be readily aware of. We're embarking on a look for a new, CEO, a new CEO here at APTA for the, to oversee the association. We're working with an outside uh, search firm. That process is going through, through its steps, and we hope to be able to name someone in early 2014. So that'd be another change for the association. So if membership is important, you obviously want as many people as possible to be members. And to that effort, um, there's some, there are things being done now to try and ease the dues burden on some uh, key populations. Talk to me about what's coming up there. One of the things we're looking at from a board of directors standpoint in conjunction with staff and what membership has put forward to us from a department standpoint is we know the new professionals from that year one to five are challenged between getting out of school, getting a job, getting their feet on the ground and their loans that are before them. So they have some special unique challenges, but we don't want that to deter them from benefiting from what we have to offer as an association. So we're looking at some easing of the dues burden through those one through five years and we'll hope to announce those details soon so those individuals can get into the mix, have an easier time being a member in those early stages while we show them what the value really is and the benefit is so that by the time they get to that six years they can be a full member at full dues at the same time have eased in over time. That's just one example. So given the importance of members, um, here's your audience. What is your message to members as we move into 2014? Well thanks Jason. I really want to thank all of you as members for being a member. You're critical to our organization, to our association and moving forward, so I want to thank you for that. And at the same time, you've heard about some of the things we're looking forward to in 2014 and some of the successes we've had. You can also look at the website, the annual report, and other documents we send out to you to see the great things that are going on. I would ask you to share them with a peer and let them see what the, what's going on around them from a physical therapist and physical therapist assistant standpoint and help convince them to be a member. And lastly, I'd like you as a member to consider getting involved. We have a strong base when it comes to membership and we can get even stronger as far as numbers go. But at the same time, we need more and more talent and fresh ideas coming through to help us with our projects. And we look forward to you to somehow stepping forward, getting involved, and becoming an integral part of some of these projects that we have so we can provide your input and, can inten and include that input as we move forward in 2014. So again, thank you for being a member and look forward to working with you in 2014. I'll echo that. Thank you for being a member. Thank you, Paul, for joining us. Thank you, Jason. And so, yeah, please be a member of APTA. Support us as we move into 2014, and let's do some exciting things.